Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a frequency histogram using PowerPoint. The process should be pretty similar in Excel. Um, I'm going to attempt to do that in the next video when I talk about creating a grouped frequency histogram. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to come over here. You can just insert a new slide and I don't really like the size of this, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. But I can click this little graphic that says Insert Chart. And what you'll want to use is a column chart. So go ahead and click on that and then say OK. Now, what will happen is you will have um, this default settings pop up. And I've already copied the file that I have for our frequency distribution for nights out per week that students reported. I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can see it. Actually, perhaps I ought to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. So, okay, let's see if I can do this. So we'll just make this whole section a little bit bigger. Okay. So, what we've got is we have too many series. We only want one. So we can actually see this blue outline. We can drag this over and it eliminates these two other series that we don't need. So we'll get rid of those. So now what we need is our categories down this axis. And if you remember, let's scroll down just a minute here. Um, if you remember here, I'm actually going to move this up a little bit, not too far because we want to have enough room for all of our our rows, you'll see that we have um, our category is nights, and that we really don't need this legend. I'll show you how to turn that off as well. But what we see is our different category numbers um, should be arranged from lowest to highest across this x-axis. So we're actually going to type in 0, 1, 2, oops, 2, 3, So what you'll want to make sure is that you drag this blue box down to include all of your data. And I'm going to get rid of this text here. Okay. So now what goes in this Series 1 column is actually going to be your frequency. So here is where we're going to type frequency. All right. And now, these values that they had put in there, we want to replace with our values down here. So 0, we had one observation. 1, we had two observations. Six, uh, 2, we had 4, 3, 5, 2, 2, and 1 person went out 7 nights. OK, so you'll see that over here, it looks pretty good. But there's a couple things we still need to change. So we've gotten all of our data in here. And so I can close this window. And so now we need to do some other things. Remember that um, here we want our bars to touch for the frequency histogram. So you can, um, what I did was right click on one of the bars. And then I'm going to say, OK, I want to format this data series. And I don't want any gap. And that's the thing that I need to change is on series options. So I'm going to slide this down because it said 150% gap. And I don't want that at all. OK. So I'm going to say close. And there, now it looks like a histogram. OK. The other things that are really important here is that you add, well, let's first get rid of this. We don't need the legend. So you can come over here to layout and then you can come up to legend and you can say turn off legend and it's gone okay i also would like to maybe differentiate it a little bit between my bars so we might also want to change our chart style just a little bit so that it has a border let's try format instead 
because remember you don't want to detract too much from your let's see, shape outline. You want to detract, detract too much from what you're doing. Oops, that's not the right shape. Uh, there we go. There we go. So you can at least see the borders here. Give it a little bit of blue around that. Okay. And you want to add then a descriptive title. So frequency histogram for number of And in fact, I don't really like this little guy here. We don't really need him. So get rid of that. Okay. The last thing that you'd want to do then is to come in here and say, oh, look under layout. And now we need axis titles. So our primary horizontal axis, we need that title below the axis. And that we should put is number Nights out per week, no nights, one night, two nights, three nights, etc. All right, so we've gotten that one taken care of. And now we want to go and come in and say, again, layout. Now we need to look at axis titles for the vertical axis. And I prefer to have a rotated title. Um, and what we can say here is frequency. And the last thing you might want to do is your book suggests that grid lines are usually not a particularly great thing. So let's get rid of those as well. So do not display horizontal grid lines. And there you have it. You have a frequency histogram for the number of nights students go out per week based on the data that we presented when we were talking about constructing a frequency table.